This is what a lot of people think that traditional martial artists are like and what the traditional martial arts is. Everybody was Kung Fu fighting. Those kids were fast as lightning. In fact, it was a little bit frightening. But they fought with Okay, so that is clearly a man who was has mental problems and who was not feeling well, and um, the police had to come apprehend him. I don't know why it took that many police officers to come after one guy. I guess they were worried that, you know, he was truly lethal. Now, a lot of people look at that, laugh, and say, oh, my goodness, this dude just is out of his mind. And, of course, I got tagged in this on Facebook. But, you know, there must be something to his ability or they wouldn't have sent so many cops. I don't know why they sent that many cops for one guy, but maybe they've had trouble out of him. At least they were able to get him without him being hurt. Now, a lot of people think that, uh, you know, if you start going off into the realm of things like no-touch knockouts, that you pretty much like the guy who thought he could take on the whole entire police force. But no, that's not what the traditional martial arts are about, in my opinion. It's supposed to be about character building and help you learn how to defend yourself. So, in case anybody's wondering, yeah, I saw that video. I think that dude is just out of his mind. I don't think it reflects on all martial arts as a whole. A lot of people got a good laugh out of it. Yeah, I kind of got a good laugh out of it, but I feel sorry for him in a way because I think he's probably just somebody who was, you know, just needs some medication, needs some rest, and then he'll be back on his feet. So, thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please share this with people who like to talk, talk, talk about the martial arts. And peace.